to do? I'm Scott from Koenig, Luis from Koenig. We're here, another episode of the Behind the Wheel podcast. This is an interesting one. Yeah. I also felt very weird not doing the intro because this guy hasn't been on the podcast for a while. Yeah. You know, he's been doing presidential things, you know what I mean? Meeting. Yeah. Feels good. Important people, you know? Feels good. Yeah. I like, you know, listen, I, I, I like the idea that, um, that, you know, this is not a, about any one person. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That what we do is kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of, I mean, obviously the brand stands on, stands on its own. And uh, as kind of um, people that work with the brand and, and kind of work for you, uh, I like to think that we have a collective voice here and it's driven by multiple people. So sometimes we, you know, who wants to just hear me talk about topics over and over again? Right? I get that. So I like the idea that, you know, different people can jump on the podcast and still uh, knock it out. It's certainly not Scott's podcast. And you, uh, and you guys have proven that over the, you know, definitely over the past year or so. So mm -hmm. that's good. So here's a here's a, a sad but happy tidbit, I guess. Um, this uh, you'll see this. This is Luis's last week here at Koenig. Yeah. Right. So like a cue crying emojis. They should come in from both sides. Um, yeah, like that. It looks that looks like that filter. You know the filter that you have on thing where everybody's crying even though they're smiling. You ever you you know what I just look yes, but you know who I just look like Robert De Niro. A little bit, a little bit, right? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> you know. Um, so so Luis is Luis Luis is moving on to uh, to another position, um, not here and not in automotive. Uh, and you know, look, this is a hard thing to to to. It's a hard thing to describe because whenever you hear somebody's leaving, the first thing I think you think of is animosity or something didn't go right or something went wrong. But sometimes in life, it's just about things need things are different. They want to, yeah. you know, go in a different direction. So, you know, we're always transparent with you. Yeah. Um, Luis got an offer for a substantial amount more than 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 we have to give. In different various reasons, uh, not just one, um, and it's an opportunity for him and uh, and his family, and and he's taking it. And we have never ever um, not you know wished somebody well that was making a move to better themselves. So um, while as sad as we are to see Luis go, and we're all gonna miss miss you here. Um, it's uh, you know we wish we wish uh, Luis well, uh, yeah, and you know we wanted to tell you guys because you know he's been such an active part of, of what we do here, social media and stuff yeah. like that as well. And uh, for me specifically, you know, for those people that I speak to that are going to jump on the podcast, that uh, I've had um, pleasures of meeting, yeah, having interactions with, just talking to, just building. Like, thank you guys, man. You thank you so much for making my experience here amazing you know what i mean it's been so much fun from uh experiencing new things that i never did before working here like going to fd and going to to uh, meet some of you guys at smaller events like and and just interacting with you and going even to down to man. signing yeah. brian's helmet <laughs> brian you're gonna live with that forever yeah by the way <laughs> it's a relic now <laughs> <laughs> it's a relic but you put a date on it yeah but it, it was it was just an amazing experience you know everything from like uh from the beginning of it you know what i mean from uh, scott teaching me about how wheels get made and me learning certain things that i didn't know that i that i didn't know and i learned it and it was amazing man and i had such a great time even down to the marketing end of stuff this man, as much as, you know, you guys don't want to hear about it, but I give him his flowers consistently. It's like he's taught me a lot. And I'm appreciative of the opportunities that you've given me because uh, I've told this to you in confidence, but, yeah. you know, it makes me feel confident to go out to the world with what I know, you know, and uh, and I'm thankful for that, man. Thank well, you, dude. I appreciate it. For real, that. man. I appreciate that. I mean, listen, it's it's um, it's nice to hear. It's hard because I think, you know, you get to a point where, you know, everybody here becomes a family. Yes. Like we're yeah. not, you know, I wish sometimes that, you know, like same way television, sometimes you wish when the, like when the Arby's commercial comes on, there's smell vision Yeah. I wish people could see kind of behind the curtain to really understand like how, 
how much we are about what we do. Yeah. Like this is a, you know, we're, we're, we're a pretty tight knit group and we, first off, we take care of each other pretty well. Second, we do care a lot about each other and there's nobody in this, um, company wouldn't have each other's back. And what happens is you spend so much time together. You be, you start to be basically become this pseudo family. No, we are a family. Yeah. It's yeah. It, it, yeah. it realistically I've been over here on the almost a decade, which is crazy to think about. This is my 8th year working here. Yeah. You know, so it was it was going towards a decade and the toughest part about me leaving is not it's you know, obviously business is business, yep. but it's the people you work with. Right. And I was great, grateful enough to have uh, a good team to work with from Max to people you guys don't see behind the scene like Janet and Hazel and Jim and everything. There's a big, there's a small, a small, com small company, right. but it's a large family, meaning in a sense that yeah. we were consistently always together. We're close knit. We've done a lot together and all it, I don't think it's hit me yet. You know, the, the moment that I'm next week, I'm sitting in another office doing a different routine. It's probably the same for you guys because it's just been routine. It's, mm -hmm. you know, with your family, you never let them really go. So even if I'm not here, I, I've talked to Scott, like I'm always going to be here to help. I'm always going to be here if I'm available. You know, if they need anything, I'm here. And vice versa, I'm sure it's the same, yeah. you know, because uh, it's it's sometimes, you know, you, you go into things with, uh, with a business set of mind, but you end up leaving with, a, with friends and family that you're going to, they're going to last forever. Yeah. This man's going to be at my wedding. I told him already, you know, say, you know, the, the family here is going to be at my wedding too. Nobody wants to, wants me at their wedding, but here, <laughs> you know, look, I, I think that there's a, you know, we all know what it is like. Um, but you know, there's like for some of the people that are out there, you know, I think this is an interesting topic. Like, like you're moving on, mm -hmm. you're going to do something different, mm -hmm. but you know, you're using obviously a lot of the skill set that you've built mm -hmm. while you've been here. Yeah. It, you know, how do you feel moving on to a totally different segment? It's not automotive. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, uh, is there, is there, is there nerves? Is it scaring? Are you excited? Is it a, is it a, like yeah full steam ahead like you know for, there's a lot of people no, that sure. probably are very comfortable maybe in positions that they have now and this is something maybe they've been thinking about doing or they're not sure mm -hmm. and or they've they've kind of even secretly and i know i did this for many years like i i would convince myself that i wanted to try something different and then i would put stuff out there and then i would be like ah nah like yeah. You know, yeah. I get those calls. I get people that would say, "Oh, you know, we want you to, we want you to come." And it got too real, too fast, and I was like, oh, "I don't know." You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, so yeah. What does it feel like? Well, so one of the things that, and and just to bring it back to the moment that I started here, which is 2016, mm. and I remember coming into this job, and I'm gonna be real, and we've mentioned it in other podcasts. You know what I mean? Like, uh, especially more in the beginning. You know, uh, it was always emphasized, like. Luis is not in a quintessential car guy, mm -hmm. you know, he just lives the lifestyle. And I didn't understand that until I started to kind of mingle and mix with some of the, the car enthusiasts and stuff like that. And you realize we're very similar. But from that, not only, you know, and time progression, you know, I can honestly say that I consider myself a car enthusiast in the simple fact that I learned how to love the car world, mm. you know what I mean? I learned how yeah. to engulf myself in the car world, learn from learning chassis codes to, <laughs> you know what I mean? To literally like uh, how a car is built, like being interested in, you yeah. know, the nooks and cranny and people uh, uh, putting boosts onto the car to me knowing the size wheels that fits best for your car, you know what I mean? I can honestly say that I engulf myself in this world, although I'm not an expert at it, I would pro honestly from, some of the conversations I've had with certain people, I'm like, well, bro, you literally know nothing. You know, no disrespect, <laughs> no disrespect, but you know what I mean? But yeah. it's one of those situations that I, you know, I didn't realize until uh, eventually that, oh man, like I really engulfed myself in this world. 
And it was easy because of the people around me, the people yeah. that I work with, down to, you know, Savannah Little, to Nick Staniford, who I speak to over, teaching me things. Like, yeah, you know, knowing that I didn't know it and yeah. then showing me how to do it. You know, to Derek Madison, who I talk to all the time, and the MSPAC boys. These are people and friends that I will continue to talk to moving forward. And they don't work here, but they're right. part of the car enthusiast community that I, that is built and and we just support each other and that's beautiful man and that's yeah. something that i will take with me forever i'm gonna be going to grid life events if it's local i'm gonna be going to fd events and just showing up as a fan and you yeah. know how excited i am for that yeah not to show up so i can go have a freaking drink instead of <laughs> instead of me having to be composed i could go get shit face with greg you know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> and i'm excited for that but Meaning in a sense, yes, the way that I came into this job was the same way that I'm going forward. Yes, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm constantly going to be afraid because yeah. this is what I know right yeah. now. But moving forward, I'm also excited because it's something, a new venture. There was things here that I learned when it comes to marketing. Mm -hmm. That That's the reason when I went into that interview, I went in there confidently because I know things that I didn't know then. Yeah. Now I know how to do certain things and this company was like wow like you did all that it's like yeah well but they don't realize that it's all built from family it's mm -hmm. things that i learned from scott from sure. max from nick to alex to rich to all these people that i have worked here to to jim to joe like that have taught me and created something in me that allows me to go forward with confidence yeah you know? so i'm no, thankful for that yo know, it's it's crazy it's crazy to think like it's um you know it's hard to watch i think anybody go right yeah but you know sometimes like for the greater good like people need to flourish in different ways like yeah. everybody's got their own path and um you know sometimes you have to go down the path to figure out what it is yeah. you want better yet you have to go down that path to figure out what's next yeah so um so you know it's just one of those things and i think you brought up a great point that um what has always really kept me so locked in on automotive has always been the people yep because i love cars i mean i love cars to a level that's probably mentally unsafe yeah yeah, yeah. I, i'd say you know that. what i'm saying yeah like <laughs> Like, I love cars so much that I would live in a cardboard box if you told me that I can have a bunch of cars and a big garage with a shop. Bro, let me tell you something. When I, So, because remember, I didn't really understand the car community at first. So, when I, when I met Scott, I thought it was the standard to know what he knows. And then I talked to people who are legitimate car drifters, yeah. drivers, right. and I'm literally like, wait, why do I know more things than you know? And then I realize, oh, no, this is because the person who's teaching me is a madman mm -hmm. and likes to just Crazy. tear things apart and put them. And I'm like, wait, OK, so you don't know that it's because it's not normal. So, yeah, you, <laughs> you yeah, it's not normal I, the way you love cars, but, but I it's guess a different <laughs> way. <laughs> OK, fair. I, I, and I mean that in a sense, like <laughs> it's, it's it, it makes you an expert in it. Like well, we, we talk about it all the time. And, and, and I don't know about an expert because I think you could always be well, better. The only person I've ever heard kind of give you a run like like run for your money when it comes to conversation is Mike from uh, from uh, hard, hard media. What's um, from D Sport? His name is Mike, right? <laughs> oh, Ferrera. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, that man. He knows. He knows. Yeah. No, and then yeah. obviously there's mechanics and, and, like and Andy listen, and stuff like that. Yeah. Where, and there's, yeah. there's, and listen, and everybody's going to have a yeah. segment that they know way more about than yeah. another just based off of their experiences, right? Um, so, uh, listen, do I know? I know a fair bit about cars. But the, <laughs> but the point I was going with wasn't about my knowledge in cars. My point was, is as m mental as I am with cars and obs uh, obsessed as I am with cars um i think that if it was that alone i don't know if it if i still would have been as passionate about it because the people really do make the difference i mean yeah. the fact that you know there's this whole camaraderie of people out there that that share this same passion and that you know, are into the similar types of things that can share my obsession and 
that I can feed off of and mm-hmm. I can learn off of. And, you know, like um, there, there's a dude on Instagram that I'm super uh, – it's, God, that's going to sound right. I don't want to say it like that. Um, you love him. <laughs> He's such a jerk. <laughs> There's a dude on Instagram that his work is on another planet. Okay, okay. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. I love him. Get out of here. Yeah. Come out of here with that garbage. Uh, you know what? Go now. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 there's this dude uh kyle and i always his his name cannot uh, i'm sure a lot of people follow him i mean he's got plenty of followers but the work and the attention de- to detail that he does to cars is like dreamable yeah i mean just and 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 i think that when you have that to know that there's other people out there that are better than you, mm. that are doing things way cooler than what you think you're capable of, there's always that thing that that's striving you, you yep. to do something different. Yep, yep. Why do I obsess about wanting to do some of these bucket builds that I that I have that I that keeps me on Facebook Marketplace every night before I go to bed looking mm-hmm. for the deal to turn one of my bucket list projects into reality Mm -hmm. like it's because i have grown and my my skills have changed and they've all been because of the people that have influenced me absolutely and i think that you know you've experienced that on the on the breaking side yep yep and i think that you know there's a lot of people probably that are under you know that are behind the years of experience in the breaking world to you yep yep that you know, look to you for some of that as well. Yeah, 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 for and sure. So, um, you know, it's interesting to see how communities can have such an impact on, I, on I, your life. I, and 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 exactly that. Like, I think that's one of the funnest parts that I had about this. Even down to like conversations I've had with with YouTubers where they're literally telling, I'm like, well, where'd you get the car? And they're like, oh. A guy watches my channel and he gave me a shelf for me to work on because he's a fan of mine. And I'm like, Jesus, like, I, I got to start a YouTube channel because I want a free car right. too. You know, but anyway, but point is, it's, it's amazing that the car community does that for each other. And uh, yeah. uh, the same way as some of you may know, some of you may not know, I do have a breaking, like, I do break dancing, b boying. Uh, and it's similar to the car community in a sense like you you're consistently helping each other you're challenging each other you're growing together and i got that by being able to work here at koenig and i'm grateful for it and i'm uh, lifelong friends down to like people tech like i told I, I you know i'm giving shout outs here but people like uh like a fletcher who is the photographer for um for kelsey rawlings fd driver you know he's he's gonna kick it with me in a few weeks and we're just gonna hang out in new york and stuff but this is all people that i've met in the car community man and yeah i'm grateful you know what i mean i'm grateful that i've worked with you guys i'm grateful that you guys have given me the opportunity to be like hang out and just talk with you guys and just it's just i'm 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 i'm, I'm eternally grateful for everything man for yeah real. i mean and then that goes both ways you know we're uh having you here has been obviously uh a pleasure for the past you know eight years and the amount of stuff i think that um you know luis was one of those guys that there, when he came on he was so blatantly honest with the things he knew versus the things he didn't know um but you know what luis was um you know is, is a soldier is somebody that will has a positive attitude 99 percent of the time who comes to work and tries to do the right thing for the people as well as the people around him who's always not you know afraid to jump in and do the right thing um you know and, and your new place got you know they got a good one so i'm hoping that they thanks bro. they you know they build they see the value in in what you bring and um and uh and they you know use it to its most because that's that's what i think it's good for but You know, look, I mean, I I think for for a lot of you out there to know that, you know, it's important, like even now, like we're we're looking at interviews, by the way, if you need a job and (laughs) send send it, but uh, marketing skills, marketing at at Koenigwills.com. But here's the thing, um, you know, at the end of the day, 
I think, and this this will kind of make sense in a moment, but the, the reason that our interviews are so difficult yeah. is because we're not just looking for somebody that looks right on paper. Mm-hmm. We're looking for somebody to come into our family. Yeah. Right? It's not... It's not easy when you're trying to hire a brother. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Absolutely. Like, I, I, that sounds weird, no, right? It's but truth. like, it's but truth, like, man. You, you know, it, it's more that like we we are looking at and there's some people that have come in here super qualified, mm-hmm. and we're just like, I don't know if they're gonna fit in. And uh, unfortunately, you know, and I don't mean that. Yes, yes, like, yes. That they wouldn't fit in. We don't know. We but, don't know. Yeah. But like, there is this thing of like we have to think about how is this person going to come off to you? Yeah. How are they going to be able, like when you have a problem or a question or if something happens and you really need help, Mm. are they going to care to be there for you? Yeah. And, you know, and then obviously the the part that goes without saying is if we have a problem or we need help, are they going to be the type that jumps in and has your back the same way that we will have their back? Yeah. It's a really hard dynamic to try to, put forth in an interview and to get that feedback as well. So I think that's, you know, like Luis said, are are we going to miss his work and his work ethic? Absolutely. Are we going to miss him and, you know, his spot in this family? A hundred percent. So, you know. And and I will mention this too, you know, um, you know, I, I was very aware of the 40 years that Koenig has existed, you know what I mean? And I am, like, uh, even before this, like, and I think most of you guys who aren't constantly here with us every week and stuff like that can understand that Koenig had his history with, F, you know, yeah. Fast and the Furious and video games, and that was, like, kind of my understanding of it coming in until uh you know scott gave it a facelift you know with the flow form line well, and all that and and uh, you know, I don't know if it's, it's okay pure. For me to say, well no you know, i don't but, mean i don't mean it like that i just mean like i like you know when i say facelift like i've been here for so long now yeah yeah that i've watched this company go through spurts and Absolutely. arguably there may there may be a certain little blips of time where i'm like eh, but like you know it's funny about period correctness yeah these cycles, you know, you it's nobody looks back on their high school yearbook photo and goes, "Wow." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I was killing yeah. it. Never happens. Like, and if you're that person, you're a little narcissistic. You might need to get a little help. But it's okay. It's okay. But you know what I mean? Like, but this is what I was going to say, but I will say this much. Working here and one day I'm going to look back and and mm. cuz this is going to exist forever. You know what I'm saying? And That's the goal. And uh one day I'm gonna look back and be happy, uh, and and probably show, you know, the future of my life, whoever's there. You know what I mean? Like, hey, look, I did this cool thing, right. and I left, and I feel good, not 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 feel good leaving. I feel like happy with my time here, if that right. makes sense. It does. Like I I, I don't feel, like literally I, from every person that I've, that I've that works here, like legitimately they're my friend man yeah and and it sucks to lo- let go but at the end of the day there's a bigger world than this office and that doesn't mean that yeah it, we're not gonna hang out afterwards or have dinner or sure it's just unfortunately with some of the people that you know 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 us through social media mm-hmm. i'm not gonna exist there anymore and that's why we're doing this Poof. not for it's not for us we're gonna <laughs> hang out still you know what i'm saying i'll probably still pop up randomly just to say hello at the office or you'll see me at an event with them or something you know what i mean uh but ultimately it's just for you guys and and for me to you guys thank you for making this special for me man for real or he'll pull a tom brady and you'll see him back here in four weeks <laughs> Anything could happen. Well, so we did, we did pre-record some podcasts. And yeah, I yeah, actually yeah, say yeah. it on the podcast, so I will show up again yeah, eventually. He'll show up again. But the I, question is, is he? could there be a Tom Brady moment in the upcoming months? I don't know. You'll well, have to you, stay tuned. You, you know what's funny, too? I, I even said it on the podcast. I said, listen, the guy that's there is not Luis. His name is Sharif. You know what I mean? Because it's a clone of myself oh, you, that's you, coming back. That's, you, yeah, that, <laughs> Did you just pull some Black Sharif Panther stuff out of me? <laughs> bro, like it's just the got CRISPR. CRISPR, bro. I got I remade, I bro. CRISPR. Are, I mean, did we just... Okay, Sharif. Sharif. Luis right. so, Sharif, you know? All right. All right. I mean... But yes, thank you guys so much for having me. Every time. 
thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you. Like legitimately, I can't say. Th- I I think I've said thank you 15 million times already, but I'm not gonna stop counter. saying it. Ding 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 ding. We'd be all right, but you know, like, look, I I think I want to end this this way. Um, you know, look, I could go on for you know a good period of time about you know what you mean to this organization and and what you know all the well wishes that i that i have for you um but i think at the end of the day like you know part of being part of a family is that you kind of know like you know your dad doesn't always need to say i love you yeah to for you to know that right um and you know just from the time here like you know the, you don't need valentine's day to tell somebody that you know tell your your wife that you love them right yep, like yep. if you do the right thing you show them throughout the whole year and and i think that you know that's the way we are and and so um you know we're gonna miss you here but uh you know we wish you and uh and emily super super well Thank you, brother. I appreciate yeah. that, man. So that's it. We're done with the sob story. We're moving on. Uh, let's talk about some a few other things before we head out. Um, content on Friday. We'll have some. Uh, <laughs> content last week. We had some. Uh, if you are coming over from the live that we did preceding this podcast, guess what? We're going to do it again next week <laughs> at 2 p.m. <laughs> Eastern, where we go live on Instagram and Facebook. We answer all your questions. I don't think Luis is going to be there, but I will be most likely, or Rich will be, but somebody will be there um, and will answer your questions. I think that, you know, look, feel free to add in the comments, you know, some of the things that you like about Luis. If you're going to put negative stuff, then uh, also put it down below. We enjoy laughing at certain things. I have a big schnoz. Uh, No, don't. No, no, you can't. You can't give them ammo. All right, all right. You can't give. They gotta use their own. Oh, they I'm, don't I'm, have han- it. I'm no, handsome good. as hell. There we yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Look, at, uh, there's a glitch going on. Oh. Well, I think it's just in our screen. I don't oh, think okay. it's in the the real thing. Anyhow, this is this is belabored now. Um, look, um, we wish you well. We wish you the same as kind of what we wish Luis. <laughs> And uh, and we'll be back here uh, next Wednesday where we'll do another little podcast thing for you. All right, take care. Take it easy. Peace, Brian.